What do you think your favorite thing is about the film industry? The people that I come in contact with, like you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> people, true, the people yeah. that I meet, yeah, because you yeah. really do become family, you know, uh, because you're spending so much time. I mean, it's like a family because mm-hmm. you're married to people, basically. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's people that have been doing this for years, and but when you're on a set uh, for any length of time, even if even if it's two or three months, you're with those people on set more than you're with your spouse yeah. or your loved ones. So it's it's the people, you know. I mean, I've met a lot of really cool people. And that's one thing I love about the film industry is because it's kind of like a family. If you're in, you're in. It's like it's like a motorcycle club. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're in, you're in. And it doesn't matter what production you get thrown into, you'll walk on and you'll usually see at least one or two people that you know from another production. Yeah. So you always usually have a friend. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, Bird, like Bird's one of the guys I always see. He's an AV guy, and uh, you know I'll, I've seen him on several different things. And it's just always cool to like come back around and see people. And that's another thing is like how you find jobs is from who you know. It's word of mouth. There's no recruiting center out there. There's no, like right now I have absolutely nothing booked. There's no place really for me to go try to find a production to get on. There's all kinds of things happening, but really what I'm doing is just sitting and waiting. Mm -hmm. Or I'll put out a feeler, I'll text some people and go, hey man, what are you working on? Are you guys guys need any additionals? Oh yeah, I forgot about you, Rav. I'll, I'll talk to my second and make sure you're on the list. That's how you get work in this industry. It's not, it's completely unorthodox when it comes to any kind of other profession in the world. You know, mm-hmm. everybody else has like some kind of go to system that they can go to where they can pretty much know they're going to get work. And being a freelance production assistant or anything, yeah, I don't think, I think anything. If you're a camera operator, anything. If you're unemployed, you're just hoping that a production calls you mm-hmm. or somebody thinks of you or, you know, you always got to keep your, name fresh in people's minds mm-hmm. too mm-hmm. you got to touch base with people and let them know that you're available yeah absolutely that's a big key to yeah. keeping the momentum keeping the ball moving for you and and work wise so hey rav thanks for being on the show dude that was thanks a lot for of fun inviting, man. <laughs> um rav also has a really awesome youtube channel he'll, he'll plug it right here and tell you a little about it yeah it's called vagabond days i actually live in my vintage 1982 dodge camper van and uh, you can check it out at Vagabond Days, and that's with one D. It's V-A-G-A-D-A-Z-E. It's a fun channel. I've been following it for a while. He's gone to Texas and done a couple other trips. Um, so it's a fun show about RV life, if you've ever thought about living in um, campers or vans or anything like that. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey, guys, thanks for watching Hacking Hollywood. If you have any more questions, as always, please leave a comment below, um, and we would love to address those things, learning about Um, the Hollywood industry and applying that knowledge to smaller productions. Um, Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.